Let's talk about dental plaque and a very useful remedy, a homemade mouthwash. After using this mouthwash, dental plaque will be reduced and with regular use, it can be gone forever. Bacteria in the mouth, in order to protect themselves from our immune system and the antibiotics we consume, form biofilms around them. You can think of these biofilms as small calcium houses that these bacteria construct for themselves. Inside these biofilms, these bacteria remain safe. These calcium houses are their survival mechanism because our immune system cannot detect them and allowing them to live for extended period. Not only in our bodies, but also outside nearly all bacteria form biofilms. If you go to a river and pick up a stone lying in it, it becomes slimy and slippery. The reason for this is the presence of biofilms on the stone. Biofilms are ubiquitous, especially in places with water like your saliva. They require water and sugar for nourishment. Excessive biofilms in your mouth can lead to unpleasant symptoms such as bad breath, itchy gums, bleeding gums and eventually the need for a dentist intervention. However, by using this simple homemade mouthwash regularly, you can effectively manage it. The first ingredient on our list is baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate. When biofilms enter the mouth, the bacteria residing in them start producing an excess of acid which lowers the pH of your mouth. A pH level of 3.5 to 5.5 is particularly conducive to declassification. Calcium is released from bones and teeth and these bacteria use the calcium for their housing leading to calcium deficiencies in the teeth and the development of cavities. Thus, maintaining a neutral pH level in the mouth is crucial. Excessive sugar consumption and blood sugar fluctuation can also contribute to increased acidity in the body as you are essentially providing the favorite food of these bacteria, sugar. This creates an environment for them to thrive and produce more acid. Baking soda can rise pH and making it more alkaline and breaking down the bacterial colonies. Additionally, sodium bicarbonate is naturally produced in your saliva, which means that it has no side effect. To make the mouthwash, mix 1 fourth to half a teaspoon of baking soda with 3% of hydrogen peroxide, which you can obtain from any pharmacy. Hydrogen peroxide, in addition to eliminating bacterial biofilms, acts as an antifungal agent particularly effective against candida yeast. Interestingly, hydrogen peroxide is naturally found in your saliva where it helps to kill bacteria. Therefore, you are essentially increasing the presence of substances already produced by your body. Mix 1 fourth of teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide with 1 fourth of teaspoon of baking soda in half cup of water. Use this mixture as a mouthwash daily after brushing your teeth with regular toothpaste. Hold it in your mouth for at least 30 seconds before spitting it out. This regimen will help prevent the formation of dental plaque on your teeth, restore the shine to your teeth and alleviate the issue of bad teeth. Additionally, recent research has highlighted the connection between vitamin K2 and the formation of dental plaque on teeth. Vitamin K2 in conjunction with vitamin D3 prevents declassification by maintaining calcium in your teeth and bones. It prevents calcium from leaching into soft tissue and send it to the bones denying these bacteria access to the calcium they require for their housing. Moreover, if you use chewing gum to combat bad breath, seek out xytol chewing gum which possesses antibiotic properties and prevent bacteria from adhering to your teeth. You can also use cloves, rosemary oil, turmeric and cinnamon in your diet. Turmeric and cinnamon contain a potent phytonutrient called curcumin with antioxidant properties that help prevent diabetic complications. These are my recommendations for preventing dental plaque. Take better care of yourself. See you in the next video.